Hi guys, hope you guys are doing great. Wow. What a look. What a look after workout look. Look. Well, um, eh, just drinking my uh, protein shake after my workout. I am still exercising, but not very uh, uh, intense. Uh, it's very according to what I can take. <laughs> I'm not, I don't have like a strict regime. I just do it at a consistent pace. I'm I'm loving it. Yeah, I don't get so stressed. I don't try to be someone who I'm not. I just do the comfort of my home. And um, yeah, so just uh, updates. I, I don't even know if you call it an update or whatever. But like, I have. <laughs> I wanted to do an experiment of. Uh, dating online so i actually got on onto tinder uh in early september so i think it was like first second of september so i i put up my profile putting like okay not so fancy it started with not so fancy pictures and i was putting like barely like three pictures black and white and stuff it's really trying not trying to be demeaning on myself like i know i have better photos and all of that but i just wanted to put on something that is um look if you're interested with me you want to check me up and uh i want to get to to know me uh we can go out you know can go for a date and stuff so i got to know a guy and i I think I got too uh, excited because after a difficult breakup last year or so, so I hadn't been going out to meet anyone at all. So I was pretty excited and very uh, kind of like just let it flow and let it, you know, let it see how it goes, right? So I was very kind of happy because i felt the conversation was going very smoothly and i kind of like the guy i like what he's doing and stuff and uh, i like that he's very independent yada yada but like up to i saw him about three times and had realized that he um at that point of time i hadn't gone back to tinder and accepted anybody else's dates or had talking to talking had talk to anybody more seriously so i was really kind of like tunnel vision and just concentrating on him not just because he was only that the person there but i really thought that the conversation was flowing very nicely and i just we had a few plans whatever in the near future and whatnot but uh i did realize after the second meeting we had a few had a bit of change and uh, he did mention to me like the third meeting and said like I can be your I can always be messaging you every day every night that was prior to that he did that okay so he could he said he couldn't message me every day every night or ask me how I am and um, a simple said and he finished it off by saying he can be my full-time boyfriend so I I think it was pretty much a big slap to my face because I um, I thought it was going somewhere maybe not like 100% for him but for me I was like okay maybe just gonna focus and just gonna see how it goes before I go and back jump on this bandwagon and try on to uh, get to know other guys so maybe I was just being very um, blindsided by the whole thing and uh, when he said that during our third meeting and I then realized that I think I should just be be free and shouldn't be too rigid to this change and just you know there are a few things that you just need to let go so I made up my mind is like okay cool I, I, cool I get it like you know uh, if you want to see me see me no then it's fine but I um pretty much a bit sour when I say soured, it's like I'm not going to uh, try anymore or going to look for you at all because um, 
that statement is a uh, very uh, tough for me to share it and I find that even if we are not any we are not anything the way you said that like as if I don't deserve your time do you know what I mean so after that I got on to three more dates uh, almost every week uh, almost every other week and um, a few good and bad experiences of course but um, and also some guys that I know I haven't gone up with but we're just talking and just being friends and I'm fine with that I'll be still getting to know each other I no longer have that kind of expectation where I'm gonna put myself on a timeline or on a deadline that I should go out with that this person or that person and we should be something or whatever I don't have that any that expectations anymore I'm like okay just go with the flow whatever feel like it we'll meet and we'll have we'll do something fun and stuff or rather just get just catch up for coffee or meal doesn't matter but I am much contented to like right now the way my self-confidence works it is really I like that I'm getting uh, good feedbacks like I always thought like okay I'm just after okay after that about three two three weeks of having that just three pictures on my profile so I changed it up and I included more pictures that are pictures of scenery a picture of me full body of course nice pictures like you know full profile and uh, some other nice uh, pictures of me about one or two so it just kind of like give a bit of like oomph to my profile like I don't want it to be it's so difficult at that point of time because having that three pictures I find that guys are not that they even they match me first time and I matched back with them and they actually got back and see my pictures they didn't even want to chat me up or rather be they got busy or they have someone else someone else's you know chatting going on so i didn't want to like kind of uh, hijack that so if they don't want to say hi first i still i know i have that bad habit of you know i cannot experiment so many things at one point of time so it's just that i'm experimenting that i can't be the girl i can't be the one to say hi first it's not me it's not my character i still want the guy to say hi to me first before you know so because if you don't like me physically, like how I look at my profile is, I cannot bet that you would like me. I mean, if let it be that, that right? You know, I might not even like you even, so it's very half and half. So, uh, so I put more pictures and I changed my bio a bit. I just, I really, I'm done with like guys asking me if you want to have sex. Or asking me if you want cash for the exchange of sex get it like I get cash for giving sex and then like guys are married or attached and then they're just saying hi and some guys were like uh, maybe in a business or working for something and then they're asking me for I mean they're just like um, uh, probably selling the services like professional services and stuff so I'm like um, I'm not really interested I mean I'm really here to find dates and get to know guys and you know not really very high expectations, high expectations at this moment of time so yeah kind of changed up my profile and I got a bit better quality guys liking my profile so it was a bit better and now I'm like on the I I'm, I got through the first month I thought I wouldn't get through the first month of using I mean for me it's if you have time you swipe if you don't have time and you want to just uh, have a bit of mental space which you should as a human being you can't keep every time I want to get to know people you know I feel that way here right now I'm just pulling it off I know guys are like I still liking my profile and still swiping right but I don't want to like quickly go on to it and then keep looking at those guys and swiping and stuff so i'm just like take a break like a few days like even like in a week like you can keep swiping even if you swipe through the chances are not all the time you get a conversations com you get conversations going so it's not every time you're gonna have something going on or like continue ch continue ch chats so you might need to time yourself so I do get like myself, I think I'm observing that Saturday and Sunday are just gonna cool it off and you know I feel, I, and also like I've gotten good feedbacks as I said like about myself 
like when I meet guys and they're like saying, "Wow, you look more." Uh, I think I'm not just I'm not trying to <laughs> amplify, amplify, exaggerate. You know, I'm not trying to exaggerate when I guys say, "Oh, you look so much better on uh uh up face up front than online," or you um you look like you're mixed. Wow, that that I got a few. You look like you. I I look like I mi- I'm mixed and uh, what's up with my name? The questions like that about my identity. It's it's interesting, but I like it. And I've got guys that saying, "Wow, you look hot." Like I'm like, okay, that's kind of like. Uh, I hadn't thought myself that way. So you know, when guys tell me that, yeah, true, they will have like agendas and whatever and whatnot. But like, if they say it, I take it. If they say it, they say it. I take it. You can just like, no, you saying that because of uh, no. Come on, girls, don't be insecure. <laughs> so I just also learn myself, learn about myself that I don't. Sometimes most some of the guys that I meet, you think they look, you think they look that damn good online. They also gonna put pictures that are like the best of themselves. No one puts pictures online that are the worst of themselves. Everyone's gonna. Put really nice pictures of themselves, like good shape, yada yada. But when you meet, it's not gonna be, it's gonna be half truth. So, don't have high expectations. I threw that at the back of my mind because for me, honestly, I feel character. The time we spend together, if you're funny and you're like having the right frequency, is much more important to me. I hate like awkward silences, <laughs> like. <laughs> Like you know, you know you're not in the same wavelength. But some com- uh, some uh, conversations I had is like you're always talking about something. I feel I have went out with a few like they're not from here people, and some I I feel they are locals. Such massive difference. Such massive difference. I bit sucks to say, but like I feel that I still get along well with the locals here. No matter whether you're Indian, you're Chinese, or you're Malay, I feel that the the conversation base. We're not talking about politics. We're not talking about uh same grounds or whatever, like where you live and stuff like that. But like the things that is happening around and the things we like to do, or perhaps even mutual friends, we could have some in common. So it's like it's really good or comforting to know that we are also having. Through even gone through the same things, so that is good for someone that's like an expatriate or someone who doesn't work, uh, doesn't live, uh, doesn't live here or born here. It is also interesting to know their uh, experiences traveling and working everywhere parts of the world. But me being born here and stuff, so it's a bit con constricting like there's not that many things that I can talk about although I have visited countries but I don't work there per se just you know travel for work or just having holidays just for a short period of time so there's that so that's a bit tough but I'm very confident I'm not <laughs> I'm confident in the sense that I will still go on to it and I still want to continue it but I will take it at my pace no one is determining de- no one else is determining my pace of how I go out go out with these guys or how I get to know guys so I'm not in a hurry I think I've said that from the start from day one I'm not in a hurry I just wanna don't wanna waste life don't wanna waste time I just wanna go out do some fun things just wanna explore life you know just want to be but ultimately I think whatever I carry out myself the things I do and whatever like one thing maybe two one or two things that I feel I feel is very important is one to be kind always no matter how they treat you you have to be kind always and to be honest honest to them honest to yourself honest to what you really want I think these two things are very important I think that's about that that I can sum up for this few weeks of going out. So, I think my dad is like saying, well, this girl every week, she's out in like night time. If not in the past 
one year I'm always at home weekends I'm home of course I'm coming back from work I'm home unless my good friend is asking me out but it didn't but other but other than that I'm always like at home not going out always on my computer I still am always with my computer but now I have a good healthy outside life re- relationship to go out at least to kind of spend time with new people and you know be sociable I am I can be but also I'm quite at home person if I need if I need to be so yeah I think that's about that I can uh, update it's been 15 minutes I hope you guys are still sticking around for this so hope you guys are doing great and I'll catch you guys real soon ciao